The federal government starts rolling back net neutrality rules today. The Republican-led Federal Communications Commission voted to repeal the Obama-era regulations in December. Now, those rules required online service providers to treat all Internet traffic the same without slowing down or blocking content from competing providers. FCC Chairman Ajit Pai wrote for our partners at CNET overnight, the Internet should be an open platform where you are free to go where you want and say what you do, say and do what you want without having to ask anyone's permission. First on CBS This Morning, Chairman Pai is here to discuss what this means for consumers. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thanks for having me. First, let me give you the opportunity to explain why are you rolling back these Obama-era regulations? To us, the Internet is one of the greatest innovations in history. It's allowed consumers to do things that were unimaginable a generation ago. And that's thanks in part to President Clinton's decision in 1996 to adopt a more market-based approach. We weren't going to regulate this new thing called the Internet like a slow-moving utility, your water company or electric company and the like. Those, uh, that light-touch approach produced incredible benefits for consumers. That is the framework to which we are returning. So you believe the Internet should be completely unregulated? No, not at all. That's why at the FCC we have a very robust transparency rule and we've empowered the Federal Trade Commission to take targeted action against any bad apple in the Internet economy that harms consumers. These rules were put in place to prevent Internet providers from blocking, speeding up, or slowing down access. The idea was that a company could say, like AT&T, you know what, I've got to deal with Netflix, so you know what, I'm going to slow down Hulu. Yes. Could, that, could they do that now that you've uh, repealed this law? Two different points. So prior to 2015, when these regulations were imposed during the Obama administration, we did not see the targeted uh, actions like that against uh, Internet traffic. Secondly, going forward, we have empowered the Federal Trade Commission to take action against any company, including those that in the situation that you mentioned, that might act in any competitive way. So consumer is going to be protected, and we preserve the incentive for companies to build out better, faster, cheaper Internet access for consumers across the country. You say that we hadn't seen that before, but in fact, in 2007, Comcast did just what the critics have worried about, and AT&T did it <clears throat> as well. Pardon me. So in the past, exactly what critics say might happen was happening. So that's the, not the case, what you said. In the first instance, for example, uh, the, that situation was resolved without these net neutrality regulations. Uh, it was resolved before uh, these regulations were in place. And the second one, the Federal Trade Commission actually took action almost a year before uh, the FCC did to take action against that throttling case. But the point is that the instinct is there within the companies. It was alive beforehand, but you're saying, well, now look beforehand because the instinct wasn't there. The instinct is there for these companies to do that. And you're now relying... It's a relying... financial incentive. Right. It's a financial incentive, isn't there? So now they know basically they can do what they want, and it's up to the consumers to try to police them. That's not true. So again, both at the FCC, we have a transparency rule where every company in the United States has to disclose their business practices, and the Federal Trade Commission is empowered to take action against any company who engages in any anti-competitive of conduct. We, we've seen with companies like Facebook, they say, well, we show you that your privacy settings can be found over here. One of the things that the Senate has said is, you know, it's very hard to find where the rules are. So this transparency, people say, sure, they might somewhere disclose what they're blocking, but it'll be impossible for people to find. And your example is a perfect instance of why the Federal Trade Commission needs to take action. The inter FCC does not have jurisdiction over companies like Facebook and Google. Only the Federal Trade Commission can apply a consistent level of privacy protection for consumers across across the internet economy. Whether you're a Comcast and AT&T or Google or Facebook, consumers need to be protected and the Federal Trade Commission is the only one under current law that can do that. So starting today, why do you think it's going to be better for consumers and how is it going to be better for consumers? It's going to be a tremendously positive thing for consumers. When I talk to consumers and I've been to everywhere from Los Angeles to the Rosebud Sioux Reservation in South Dakota to Dahlonega, Georgia a few weeks ago, their number one concern about the internet is that they want better, faster, cheaper internet access, more competition. These rules were standing in the way of companies, big and small, making the decision to spend money building these networks. And building these networks is hard, it's expensive. The heavier the regulatory burden, the less likely likely they are to do it. And so going forward, we've already heard from some companies, companies like Vtel in Vermont, uh, that are spending millions of dollars to upgrade their networks, especially in rural areas, to get people connected with what I call digital opportunity. But back to John's point, it does seem like it opens the door now for companies to do exactly what you don't want them to do. Again, President Clinton's framework yeah. served us well from 96 until 2015. I'm confident going forward, we'll have cops on the beat at the FCC and FTC to mm -hmm. prevent that from happening. Last week, tonight host John Oliver mm -hmm. urged his viewers yes. to flood the FCC lines in part right. um, because he supports net neutrality regulations. Let's take a look. I am calling upon all of you, the internet's time wasters and troublemakers, to 
join me once more in just five to ten minutes of minor effort. I need you to do this once more unto the breach, my friends. Simply go to this URL and tell the FCC to preserve net neutrality and Title II. Once again, the websites, your websites, comment section was taken offline, which I know the FCC has claimed that was because of a cyber attack. Your critics say the FCC is lying. Can you respond to that? Again, we rely on our career information technology experts, as I've done for the years, and uh, I think they made the a decision that they thought was appropriate based on the facts. Was it just that the web that, that was actually overwhelmed by the traffic? Again, here too, I rely on the career IT experts to advise us. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ajit Pai, thanks so much for being with us.